quick video. Hello. Maybe this is going to help you. We won't know, but I will follow up, I promise. And we're looking at an empty chair. And now we are looking at a very precious orchid to me because it's the fourth time that she is in bud. Four times now that I have had bud blast. So before I get carried away, I am going to show you what I'm doing to protect the buds. I have created a prosthetic sheath. <laughs> High tech material here. A toilet paper roll, a spent toilet paper roll, cut in half and just wrapped around where the buds are forming. Two, protect from too much light. Two, protect from too much wind. To protect from possible temperature drop, dry air, you name it, protect. <laughs> that is the aim of the game here. Because <laughs> Michael McCarthy made a comment about the fact that cat leared hybrids without sheaths, they are so fussy and are difficult to bloom out simply because of how exposed suddenly the buds are and whatever happens, whatever influence can and could cause bud blast. So at the time, as a joke, I said, Asterix, I'm off to build me a prosthetic sheath. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> I am not being silly. This is not a joke. My other Sunya Green had no problem whatsoever with blooming out on her first time blooming perfect gorgeous bloom. My mailman is now on his fourth attempt and you know I don't want to diss any profession out there but considering how shipping is going these days I want my mailman to deliver this year without any further delay. Whether my prosthetic sheath is going to do it, is going to make it happen, I don't know. <laughs> but I tell you everything else I've tried in the past years and stopped doing, you know, trying to eliminate the reasons for the bud blast on this orchid, I have stopped doing and yet she blasted her buds again last year. Now, let's see. Four is my lucky number and I wonder if the fourth time will be a charm. If not, the orchid is healthy and we can try again next year. If this works, I don't know if I'm going to just put it down to my prosthetic sheath. But if it works, I really don't care. And if I have to do this year after year just to be on the safe side and get my mailman to bloom year in, year out, it will get a prosthetic sheath. A little bit of a fun video, but there is some seriousness behind it. There is intent. And let's see, if you have a similar issue and you want to try a cut empty toilet paper roll and create your own prosthetic sheath and then it works, you have got to let me know in the comments. In any comments of any video, any post, any short, you have got to let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Have yourself a beautiful day. On one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.